Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profit Extensions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP CLI tutorials. This is our part number 4. Inside this video session guys, we are going to install WordPress setup what we have downloaded inside our previous video. So if I back to directory structure, now this is our folder called project folder WP CLI and inside this folder we have downloaded WordPress setup 5.4. Also, inside last video, we had created our database as well as generated wpconfig.php file. But this setup has not been installed, so we can't open this like in browser URL. So we are going to install via our wpcli command. Apart from wpcli installation, also we can install this WordPress setup via our manual way. What will be the manual way? By going through browser, open up the project setup called WPCLI and step by step of form wizard, we are going to install this WordPress setup. But we are going to install this WordPress setup by means of some command line tools like our commands. So back to our terminal and here is the folder. So if I type WP and as we know that we have a command section of core. So if I type wp help, putting a core here and inside this list wp help and here we are getting error. This error is because in the last video I totally forgot that we have generated wp-config.php file. So after setting this configuration file, first we need to install this WordPress setup. So how can we install? So let's say that if I go one folder back and as we know that we have installed WP CLI at global basis to our local system. So simply now one folder back it means we are not inside this WP CLI, we are inside this HTML folder. So simply we need to type WP help and let's say core command. So pressing enter and this is our command list. So by using this WP co inside this we have our install sub command. So by using this install runs the standard WordPress installation process. So we are going to use called WP core and install here. Again if I press control C and let's say that WP help core install pressing enter. Now inside this WP core install, this is the synopsis to use. We can pass like URL, title, admin username, admin password and admin email. So if I copy the syntax, copy this and remember also we have will documentation about this command and parameters as well. So these are the parameters according to our use like this is our address of the new site, title of the new site, name of the admin user, password of the user and email address. So if I back to slide, open up a new tab and pasting it here. So according to the needed requirements, we are going to pass parameters. So let's say that the command we will use something called WP core install let's say URL. So right now let's say something example.com. We will understand very soon that why we are passing like example.com inside this URL key. Now next we have called the title flag. So title let's say that as we are passing like test website as a multiple words so we need to wrap inside double quotes otherwise if we pass a single value so don't need to pass any value here so next we have admin underscore user so we are going to put like admin here now next we have called admin underscore password and this is let's say we are going to pass the password as admin here as well. Now next we need to pass call admin underscore email. So let's say that info at example.com. Now back to terminal 
and if I press Ctrl C to get off the out of the box of this WP CLI, so go inside CD WP CLI. So here is the folder, and here are the files. Now we are going to execute this command, and as we know that while running this command here, we are going to generate all the WordPress tables. It's because this is going to be installed this WordPress setup. So pressing enter. And the WordPress setup has been successfully installed to our local system. So remember, if I go inside this setup, open up the file, copy the database name back to the browser and inside this databases list, if I search about WP CLI and as we can see that the number of tables has been generated right here inside this database. Now if we go inside this WP options, now as we know that we have set all about this site URL like example.com and this is the value what we have talked about this URL as a key. So this is the URL. Also if you search about the email address, we have like info at example.com and here we have called admin underscore email we will update very soon about these values now as we had seen that how can we install our wordpress by using wp cli command so here inside this command we need to pass some values otherwise the wordpress will provide some of the default values of all these parameters. Now if I back to terminal and here if we type wp help or simply wp pressing enter now as we can see that our wp cli command list is now working it's because we have successfully installed our wordpress setup. Now inside this command list we have a config here we have a go here so far we had discussed about config and the core command. Now the next inside this list we have a option here. So if we search about the option and here we can see that we have a option command. Inside this option we can perform like accessing or setting up the site options values and this command will be going to be execute for this table WP options. So let's say that we are going to update about the site URL as well as we want to update this admin email. Back to terminal and if I open a new tab so control shift T and it is going to open a new tab and if I make some zoom here zoom here and let's say that the command we have something option so this is wp help option pressing enter now we have wp option this is the description this time we are going to update about site url as well as admin email which is stored inside wp options table now here is the synopsis called wp option and here we have the subcommand list like add delete get list patch plug update so we are going to update this so we need to use the subcommand as wp option and update here now if i cancel out from this command list let's say wp help list option update pressing enter now this is the synopsis to use our update so if i copy this syntax copy that back to the slide pasting it here back to the terminal and here we can find all about the details of all these parameters as well as inside we have some examples like WP option update and this is the value like option as a key and value here. So if I close the command list let's say WP option update we want to update this site URL means this is the key what we have inside our database. Now next we need to put our updated value here. 
So if I back to directory, so the URL should be something localhost means up to HTML and then WPCLI. Back to terminal, let's say HTTP. Here we have called localhost and next we have let's say WP-CLI. Now if I pressing enter, now as we can see that updated site URL option. Back to table, reload this page and this time as we can see that we have successfully updated our site URL. Also, if we want to update this email address, back to terminal, let's wp option update admin underscore email. This is the key we are going to update. And let's say that here something online web tutor at gmail.com. And if I press enter, now updated admin email option back here, reload this page and this time we have updated about admin email. Now if I open this URL into the browser, so copy this site URL back to the browser, open here. Now as we can see that this is our WordPress front end. It means successfully we have installed that. So if I open into admin panel, so WP admin and the username password we have set at the time of installation something admin as well as password is also admin. Pressing enter and successfully we have logged in inside this admin panel of this WordPress setup. So successfully guys inside this video we have installed our WordPress setup by using WPCLI command as well as we have updated our some option value inside this WP options table. In the next video we will see something more commands inside this WPCLI. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will keep my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.